Welcome to Burt Ridgeway's Learning for Life. This is Lesson 7, Part 7 of Learning a Tune from Scratch. And in this lesson, we're going to be talking about licks. Now, you don't hear a lot about licks in claw hammer banjo as much. You, you hear a lot of in, in bluegrass and in, you know, guitar, flat picking guitar. You don't hear a lot in claw hammer, but we're going to teach you a lick. If you've just stumbled upon this lesson, I'd recommend that you go below to my name where it says Brett Ridgeway's Learning for Life. Click on that. That'll take you to my channel. Uh, go to playlists. Click banjo. You're going to find a whole lot of lessons there. There's also a beginner banjo playlist. But click banjo and you will find the first lesson of this series of She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain because you want to start at the beginning. This is this series is not about learning a tune. It's learning about your banjo. It's learning how to incorporate. It's learning how to embellish left hand techniques, right hand picking patterns, mixing, mixing them all together. So if you're looking for just a tablature, if she'll be coming around the mountain, this lesson is not going to be for you, nor is this series. It's going to teach you how to create it on your own by ear and then embellish it on your own. So let's talk about this lick. We've, we've added slides, hammer-ons, pull-offs. We chose a lot of embellishment techniques. Uh, we, again, we did the triple-double thumbing, and, and we want you to mix all that up. Today, we're just going to do a C lick. And what we're going to do is you're going to hit the first string with your index or middle, do a hammer on to two, hesitation, and hit that fifth string. And then you're going to come down and hit that second string with your thumb. Then you're going to move your middle finger of your left hand to the third string. And you're going to hit it with your index or middle of your right hand. You can do a pull off there if you want. And then you're going to hit the second string open. So either And again, both are right, doesn't matter, completely interchangeable. One time play it one way, one time play it another way. And I want you to slowly increase your speed. The reason I want you to increase your speed is not so that you can play it fast. The reason you're increasing your speed is because I, and I mentioned this before, but I'm taking a uh, Spanish course online with a thing called Duolingo, just, just to do it. And one of the things I notice is when you're saying, they want you to repeat things back to them. And when you repeat things back, you know, I could do it and just using English, I could pronounce things like this, but that's not really learning Spanish. And what I found out is if you, if you talk normal, and I always thought that when I hear Spanish that it's, they're talking really fast and they're not, they talk the same speed we do. You know, the words just blend. So when you can play it fast and you feel comfortable doing that, you have that lick down. So let's put it into the tune. Right here. Let's do it again. Right here. Keep going. Right here.
And as you learn other songs, as you play other songs, you'll be throwing that into them as well. When we did this with Boy Them Cabbages, we went... So learn it slow. Slowly increase your speed. And then figure out where you can throw that in. And we only threw it in two places. There probably are other places. Um, but there's two places that you want to work on. You could actually throw it, well, there. Let's do it again. I'm trying to get too much in there. I don't know if you can tell that. Let's do this again, though. So here's an alternative. Again, as I'm sitting here figuring this out, that's what you're going to be doing. I can't get that hammer on in there. So just play the two. And actually, you can get it in. You see, you see what I'm saying, though, how it goes both ways. Just changing your timing a little bit. That's one way. So it does work both ways. Again, I haven't pre-planned this out. I'm sitting here playing with it. That's what I want you to do, to play with it. See what you can come up with. See where it fits in. You know, if you, and maybe this is part of the, part of the idea that you want to settle. You know, I said I'm, I'm doing Spanish and there's, there's sort of like tests. That's pretty what the whole thing is. You know, are you, are you getting the right tenses? Are you getting the right... And when I mess up, no, I don't want to mess up. But you know what I do? When I mess up, I look to see where I messed up, and then I try to fix it. That's what failing is. Failing is not quitting. Failing is not like, oh, I can't believe I can't do this. Failing is allowing you. In other words, be glad you can fail. Failing is allowing you to fix the mistake, to find the correct way to do it. So... Don't get discouraged if you keep messing up. That, that's so, so, so very important. That's why people get discouraged because they, they keep messing up, they keep messing up. That's part of the learning process. And I've said this at the beginning. If you're not willing to fail, you're not willing to learn. You need to get comfortable. You know, not that you want to fail, but you need to quit beating yourself up when you do fail and take it as a learning approach because that's exactly what it is. So I hope this is helping you. I, I hope this is encouraging you. So many people get, so, they're so hard on themselves. Do not be hard on yourselves. This is a learning process. And, and even in teaching this, and in the last lesson when I was noodling, there were so many times I didn't, I didn't hit what I wanted to hit. And I didn't take that out because I want you to see it's a learning process. So uh, work on this, have fun with this, uh, enjoy it. You have a 24-7 library that you can go to at any time and learn to play Clawhammer Banjo. The reason these lessons are free that I'm not charging is because there are those who are giving back, who are supporting this work. And I, I need to thank my patrons and anyone whom I consider becoming a patron to make 
these lessons possible to let them continue without having to charge. The patrons of the heart and soul and foundation of this work, I could not do it without those who are willing to give back into their own learning process. So thank you, patrons. Uh, and by the way, I have people who don't even play an instrument. And I'm not talking people I know. People I don't even know who are not taking any of these classes, but they appreciate what I'm trying to do, who actually support this program. Uh, they, they are invited to a one-hour live stream workshop. They don't do that because they're not playing anything. That's their choice. They can still come. They do get the sticker. Uh, and, and they're giving to, and by the way, most of these people don't have a lot of money. Uh, I had one person who just said, you know, I don't have a lot. This is all I can do. I don't play an instrument, but I want to give, I want to support to help you in what you're attempting to do. So thank you patrons for giving to anyone who might consider becoming a patron. Uh, again, I could not do this without you. Uh, thank you to those sharing these lessons. Please enjoy. Please share. Please uh, comment below. Please like. Please subscribe. We'll see you next week for the last installment of this particular set. God bless. See you then.